welcome to this new episode and this new series of 3D printing at home. So in this series we'll be focusing on stuff that you actually need to print at home or that you could need to print. So we're going to do a bunch of models, a bunch of videos, a bunch of contents and most of it can be downloaded from Thingiverse or Pinshape later. So uh, we'll do everything from bike lock uh, holders to dishwashing stands uh, to uh, wine glass holders and to some drop filters and, and spill protection, uh, shower holders, um, bath tubs, uh, drainage and everything like that. So we're going to do a bunch of stuff that's focused to be used at home. So if you have any friends or any uh, anyone that you need to convince why you need a 3D printer at home, hopefully this series will be your go-to source. So we'll, we'll have a tons of different stuff to be able to replace things at home or improve stuff or just solve problems that occur at home where you might not even have a solution or the solution is just too annoying to search and to, to try to find and, and, uh, and buy. So if you have any ideas, any problems, any issues, drop a comment, go to the website. Um, you, let's just have some fun and print stuff at home. Let's try to do less toy stuff and more of the actually useful stuff. The, the things that you could actually argument that saves you money. We all know that you really don't save money on a printer, but you could, you could at least um, uh, draw the line a little bit more uh, fussy between uh, actual um, um, making money with a printer and actually just saving money. So hopefully you enjoyed this series. Uh, this will be the first episode. Let me know if there's anything you want to see more of, less. Do you think the videos are too long, too short? Do you need more videos, more content, more time lapse, more whatever? Just let me know, and I'll try to adapt. So thanks for watching, enjoy the episode, and see you later. So in this first episode, we're having a go on a dish uh, drying rack. So at home, I always need to, um, uh, to dry my uh, uh, cultury by hand, and I think that's really annoying. So I saw this great um, animal that was designed to hold your cultury and let the water drain and so on. So I'm right now in 3D Studio Max, I'm using these symmetry tools with editable polygons. Um, if you're not familiar with 3 d Max, it's a really big software for creating uh, 3D visualizations. It's not that good, or I mean, I should say, it's not optimized for modeling. But for me, polygon modeling is this, the easiest way to get something done. And in this case, I actually want to have the, the sharp edges. So instead of using a solid CAD tool like Fusion 360 or SolidWorks, uh, for me, personally, I'm more comfortable with uh, working with these kinds of polygon modeling within 3D Studio Max. So I'm just drawing the shape here of the elephant. Um, I'm doing some modeling mistakes, but I'm, I'm just going for it. Um, I'm creating a elephant here, um, which you can see, and I'm creating the drainage here. So this is the inside of the elephant, which will be connected with, this, uh, with the... Uh, uh, stout, is that what it's called? Uh, the actual um, nose of the elephant so, so the water can drain. So the idea here is to have the elephant stand right next to your sink and when you put your cold curry in, after you dish them, after you wash them, they will just drain all the water outside of the elephant. So let's just copy here, see if we're happy with the results. We're uh, welding all the edges. Let's go into uh, Simplify 3D. We're using a um, PVA support material for the channel within the, the, the nose of the elephant. So in this case, th this could be done with a single extruder as well, but I just want to, to show you here the support with um, all the gray here is support, keeping it there. And this is a water solvable uh, support from Orbitech, PVA Advanced. So uh, after that, we're just doing a, a few tweaks on the settings. I want to keep this fairly quick. And um, I think we're ready to print. So it took a few hours. I think it took six or seven hours to print this. Uh, could be a little bit more. removing the first model, uh, it turns out that it's a little bit difficult. So we need to remove the raft first. 
When all that is done, it's time to peel off the support material. Yes, it's solvable, but I mean, I can speed things up by just removing some of it by hand. It's actually really easy. Then fill up with some water. Cold water is fine. Uh, put the model down and then let it wait, maybe overnight. In our case, we had a lot of support material and a small bowl, so we had to replace the water actually two times, I think. So here we're draining the um, model the day after. Um, and we realized that we need to, um, to clear coat it to make sure that it's really watertight. So here we're doing some, some drying with a fruit dryer and then of course starting to spray it with some clear coat. Uh, so this is your standard hobby clear coating. Uh, I think we did, on the outside we did quite easy, but on the inside we did excessively amounts just to make sure that it's waterproof. And let's try that. And it works! It works really well! <laughs> I think it looks really cute as well here on the side and uh, it does the job so I'm gonna share this model on fingerverse and pin shape so if you enjoy it, like it, I don't know, share it and of course subscribe for the next episode of 3D printing at home. Thank you!